Hey man, people cap. I'm just saying, don't oh, yeah. shows. Physical yeah. violence is don't. my favorite. People when you go to the church, don't kill yourself and don't kill other people. Just listen to music. As a brother or a sister, and you don't have to fucking do that to yourself. Like, you have friends, you can like talk to us. You know, just it's not worth it. Like, hold on for one oh, more day, yeah. man. We got it's gonna be for you. Then. Okay. <clears throat> Most of all, we recommend that you just get out and have some fucking fun. That's right. Enjoy your local. That was lit. It was dope. That yeah. was dope. <laughs> right and coming up in a couple of weeks, you can have some fucking fun with Midnight Murder Show, our special guest interview tonight at Reno's Chop Shop. That's right. Saturday, yeah, October. Night of the Unknown. Spooky oh. vendors, palm reader, costume contests, Reign of Z, Bullet to the Heart, Hedonistic Punk Vatos, and of course, Midnight Murder Show. Ten bucks at the door. If you're under 21, go fuck yourself. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing in Chicago. Oh, I'm take it out. <laughs> also at Reno's on the 25th. Uh, looks like this is me breathing and sky yeah, bows, to read that. ten dollars at the door. Uh ten dollars advance, twenty dollars of the at the door. Show starts at seven thirty. Tickets available at noiserot.com. And everybody ready to make a road trip to Austin. You know you've just been looking for the perfect yeah. excuse. Well now you have it. Plenty of time yeah. to plan ahead. Saturday, February. I don't know what the venue is. It's, it's a, a festival. Place. It's at that one place. Yeah, it's a festival. Yeah, it's awesome. it's that one place. Coffee. We're playing at Kick Butt. Kick Butt Coffee. Kick Butt yeah. Coffee. Yeah, the other place is like cool. all the coffee will be spiked with MDMA. So come see us. Yes, let's go. That coffee is gonna coffee. kick butt. Fuck yeah. I love butt coffee. I'm thirsty all of a sudden. <laughs> and our other guest this evening, fight from within. Thank you for being here. Hi, dude. Sweet. Uh, Absolutely. The unwanted November 15 right, over at Binion's. In Arlington. That's right. Yes, and uh, by the way, huh? yeah, in Arlington. So I, I will say um, I'm not really too familiar with what the Dallas scene has become. It's been some years, but I can tell you that the Arlington scene is definitely building up and it's definitely uh, pushing towards being you know the new hot spot at least uh, as far as texas goes yeah. i'm just going there to go to at&t that's it oh, shut anything, up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> everything that happens after that i'll have to bring all reasons <laughs> so, cheers cheers to texas man i'm excited to play out there it'd be my first time playing yeah, it'd be my first time in texas and uh i'm excited to play for y'all so my family's from there originally, like on my dad's side. Hey, hey yeah. Mikey know. was asking earlier what they should do in the Dallas Fort Worth area after they play, other than go check out AT and T Stadium. I'm not go, leaving there. Go to Austin. Go to the JFK, <laughs> go to the JFK Memorial and have sex. Okay. Well, well I was gonna Memorial. give you the opportunity. Well, Whoa. somewhere in between there, going Whoa. out to JFK Memorial no, no. and having Mid sex. Midnight. Midnight has a great idea right there, man. I, I could yeah, here's the there. thing: is, is I will it do it the X, the X is no longer <laughs> in the middle of the right. street. That's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> The X is no longer in the middle of the street, so you'll just have to choose a spot and bang it. There That's you go. fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. If, 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 if you have enough gumption, you actually could be the third shooter on the grassy knoll. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I don't know if I can shoot it that far. Because you sure wouldn't be the second or the first. Yeah. It's always the fourth, so, yeah. yeah, go see. It might be the fourth or fifth. 
you know, there's a couple of grave sites you might want to go give some homage to. There you go. That's what I was setting you up for. All right. Yeah, I, I with you. Yeah. It's <laughs> So go see, go check those out and drink a beer, do a shot and be good. Yeah, right down the street in Arlington's where Dimebag Daryl and Vinnie Paul are buried. So yeah, yeah, go see that. That's yeah. probably better than JFK, but JFK is up there. Yeah. Or right, Dealey man. Plaza. That's what you gotta do, man. We gotta go or, out or there. Down there. Yeah. Water. And then there's Deep Ellum. If you have a little money to spend, you're looking to have a good time and let it hang out. You can we're yeah, yeah, in. We don't have money. Yeah, then Not take your bullets. bottle of whiskey you over. At. Take your bottle of whiskey over to Arlington Moore Memorial Gardens and hang out with Dime and Vinny. Take your guitar, sing some songs. Yeah. I'm just gonna bring. I'm just gonna bring this with me. Perfect. I have, I'll have one of these everywhere I go. The area. Some money. Is that a gun? Yeah, you better bring a gun if you're coming here. You know, uh, well, careful. I'm not allowed to have guns. People in Texas. Well, Hey, you're 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 across you're studios and hang out. That'll work. I've I have been uh, I've been deemed unfit by society. You should too, Mister. I've been in prison. We do the same thing, man. I'm just saying, it's only medically legal there now. What guns? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Can I get my medical AK? <laughs> I, I need to do some firing. <coughs> some firing yeah, yeah, using nine millimeter is for my cataracts. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. This is a good time. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a great time, dude. Hell yeah. All right, everybody. We had a great show last week with Prophecy also. Go check that out. And coming up this weekend at Reno's Chop Stupid Shop, people shouldn't keeping drink. the local metal scene alive and thriving in Deep Ellum. Reno's, thank you. You can't say their name. That's right. Our boy Randy Roy, and they're opening for the Skate Nigs. Oh, no. they are doing oh, their classic no. debut album. Oh, oh I know. Canceled. Canceled. Cancel. Totally oh, canceled. No. Uh, along with Long Black Car at think? Reno's Friday, October 18th. So that's this Friday. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, so check out our boy yeah, Randy Roy. He always puts on an amazing show, man. Yeah. That it even got brought there is why I said, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. I didn't even look at that. Yeah, small venue for Skate Nigs, but it'll be a nice, intimate, killer show because Raid is kick-ass. And yep. be sure to pick you up a raid T-shirt there. <coughs> Hell yeah! Here's our schedule coming up. We've got Aska next week, Dave. Oh, I can't wait. We're gonna ask a lot of questions. Hey, -o. <laughs> like Aska. Good Division of Black Noise, Perico, Last of the Same coming up in November. Then all these bands exactly. against all odds, Wolvera, Violent Death, and Hot Cake Hand Grenade. In no way, That's right. They will be they will be God playing an amazing good. show on uh, November 23rd over at Dead Dog Barn. If we don't have any uh, ads for that, which I'm sure we do, but yes, they will be advertising for that show. And then uh, 1127 is actually Sharpie. So that's uh, Dylan oh, Potter yeah, that's and Moody Lewis band. Yeah, yeah. I'll fix Fan it. Fantastic. Uh, December 4th, we have the Nowhere Jets. So Steve Murphy, uh, he came on earlier with uh, Rotting Corpse. So uh, this time he'll come back with his other band. And then the amazing oh, author the from the United Kingdom, uh, Dan Franklin, who has a new book on Electric Wizard. I read it. It's fucking amazing. If you get a chance, Great he's got interview. two books. Uh, come thy fine, oh, yeah. Come my fanatics, and also heavy the way uh, metal changes the way we see the world. And then twelve eleven, we got Rich Stafford and Metonic. Yeah, hey. so shout out to all lovers of classic heavy metal band, and like really, Metonic pushed the limits of classic metal. They're really good if you're looking for some fresh classic metal to jam hard to. Yeah. <laughs> and remember to bring all your haunted items to the Midnight Murder House on Google. Google Midnight Murder House. Bring all your haunted items here and drop them off. Thank you. We will hang them on the walls and cherish them always. We'll give you a dollar for them uh, to transfer property. Thank you. A whole dollar? 
One dollar. Or That's you can bring them out to Reno's Chop Shop this Saturday. You can, uh, yeah, you can bring them there. We prefer you bring them there, not come to our house where we live. <laughs> but, uh, we will also uh, pay for them. Yeah, we Are you tired of your Ouija board scaring you? <laughs> well, take it out of the closet and bring it to Reno's Chop Shop Saturday. We have a haunted Saturday. dildo also. <laughs> no, no problem. Bring it down to Reno's. Yeah. Saturday, October twenty sixth. Okay, you ever get a rim job from Captain Howdy? Yeah. I have, and it was excellent. Thank you. Them portals was... aren't opening Mom. themselves. No, they're not. <laughs> Pay back to Sharpie here. Okay, Rick. There's another band playing this weekend. I you have to think. You might know who they are. Uh, it might be Vane, right? Ooh. Ooh. That's right. I am playing a show this weekend. How about that? Dude. I love you, man, for jumping to it. I just don't know exactly where it's Say at. Say what? I, I when do we, when you, do we uh, start? Take, take your IM. Next Thursday, John? What's that? I mean, you start on, next Thursday? Right. Yeah. Maybe uh, last show. I'm not ready, dude. Oh, oh, There's I'm always not, something going on around. And, uh, oh, there's so many flyers. Yeah. So many shows. Oh, yeah. Overload. Overload. October, uh, October 11th, that's already passed. Yeah, ready to get it? Yeah, oh, that's ready to get it. Man. Man, just don't look at the left side. Only look at the right side. Of the screen. Oh, okay. All right. One so left close left your left eye. eye. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All you need to see. Left eye. <laughs> Be relentless. Just say, Holler. Yeah. Oh, that's a ball. Sunday. 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 Who Sunday. needs Sunday. Amazon Sunday. when you got Vane and right. Relentless? Big Vane. <laughs> Vane, Vane. The Vane, Vane. Oh, speaking right, of guys, just, Midnight Murder Show is out. Uh, We're about yeah. to close shop. Appreciate you us. guys being here. Oh, All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. We appreciate well, thank it. you very much for yeah, joining man. us. We really oh, yes, appreciate it. Best of luck on the October 26th show, man. Kick some fucking ass. Uh, all right. I'll be all right. Hey, penis, hey, hey, penis hey, be hey. with you. Yeah, penis thank you. For, and also <laughs> with you. <laughs> thank you for sharing your penises and your Fuck music your with us tonight. Lift them up to the Lord. Check our penises out. Hallelujah. <laughs> Got a gift for you, Rick. All right. All right, everybody, Speak. be sure to check out Midnight Murder Show on YouTube, Facebook, and all your social media needs. And all the links are in the chats. That's right. All right, so speaking of uh, lifting up sacrifices unto the gods, Oz has entered the the house series in the chats. Oh. I'm your main. Oh, oh shit. Iron Mang. Yes, Iron Mang shows coming up. Iron Mang is a Black Sabbath tribute band or the music of Black Sabbath. Man, so they got a busy uh, next week, all right? So they're playing Friday over at the Ridgely Room. Uh, that's amazing that the Ridgely Room is uh, doing shows. That's cool. Uh, and then, uh, what was it Saturday? Saturday, three wide. Three wide brewing, okay, so brewery house, and then Tuesday, uh, drunken slug fest over at Diamond Gems. No cover because Diamond Gems rules. <laughs> That's right. That no cover thing they got going on is pretty kick ass. And if any bands listening want to do shows at Diamond Gems, the best thing to do is get you a couple of bands together, or maybe three bands that you know will commit to playing. And that way, when you contact them, you can say, hey, I got three bands. And then if you want to add one more or two more from there, that's my best advice. Just hit Nikki up on Facebook Messenger and then uh, be willing to promote the hell out of the show for them. <coughs> okay, David, 
I've been dying to ask you. Okay, so you know how you were like yes. so excited about Oasis? Yes. The band, Oasis Music. I feel the same way now. Did you hear that Acid Bath is going to fucking play this festival in Vegas, dude? Acid Bath I did, I did hear they were reformed. What? I did hear they reformed. I am so fucking excited. Like, literally, I'm like Hulk Hogan level excited, bro. <laughs> I am like already uh, ready to fucking run into the pit, like right now. And I know it's not till April, but literally, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to have a fucking hotel. I'm going to be chilling in Vegas for like a week. Yeah. Fucking bet, dude. I am so okay. fucking excited. Just saying. Um, I never, I never would have pegged you for an acid bath fan. That's awesome. Right, you're you're trying to peg me for. You don't even know me. <laughs> Just kidding, but no, I fucking love acid bath. All things Dax rigs. Are you talking fucking... about them at Sick New World? They should be at a few different festivals. Oh yeah, and also, um, uh, Han Lebanon is gonna be or Lebanon Hannon. Shit. And like, well, there's a lot of bands, but like, I know those are like, they're like the smaller ones on there. But to me, that's like a huge ass deal. Because so, to be honest, I went to Sick New World last year and it was sick. I don't like the lineup <laughs> at all. Yeah. I think, I think they, they had a really cool thing going with all the new metal. And then last year they had a lot of new metal and like some really heavy stuff. And then this year they kind of just threw whatever I'm you so wanted. This is my opinion. It'd still be a good time, but it's but not like... I feel, feel like, like I feel like different. Sick New World was supposed to be like new metal, and then this year they're just like blah. <laughs> mixing it up because you have like fucking Metallica, and then you have like some sludge metal like Acid Bath, like dirty yeah. Southern fucking. I I love it. I love it. Like I'm a Texas girl, there you guys you go. work, but like we like it low and slow or thrashy and fast. Like, we, we go both speeds, but, like, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying I'm into it. I'm fucking excited as shit. And are you going to go to Sick New World? Or are you going to go there? I hope everybody that I fucking know goes there so I'm not just, like, Yo, alone because the it tickets are expensive as fuck, too. I'm on the pre-sale list, bitch. So Same I would see. Shit. Ready I would on see. the pre-sale list. I, I would it. see if there was. Have you have you gone to like the Danny Wimmer festivals or anything like that, like like Sonic or anything? No, I used to go to all the Oz Fest when I was a kid. So, and, so I've been me, to the Family Values tours, um, and I've been to a lot of other random shows. But really, um, I mean, I don't really go to like huge festivals unless there's someone I really fucking care about. Yeah, and to tell you legitimately, I'm going for Acid Bath. Well, and I I'm think a lot, of, a lot of the other motherfuckers I've seen them. Oh, and also down. I'm fucking going to see down because I haven't. Down is on my list. I think I, I think I saw down once before at House School Horror Festival. But uh, you were talking about mushrooms well, earlier. That was a time for me. <laughs> it was a good time, but I don't remember everything. I would wait a little bit. Like, I think if Acid Bath's coming around, I feel like they would come. And if you don't do these bigger festivals, so, like, Sick New World was cool, but it, it's really hard to see anybody because there's so many bands playing all in one day. With but what speed, if you only see, like, three bands primarily? Well, I mean, here's what, I would, here's what I'm saying. If you want to make a go out of it and you haven't done it, for the same amount of that ticket, you could get, like, if Acid Bath ends up at Sonic Temple, which I think they might. Right? Well, I'm not going to take a chance. They no, I mean, you don't have to, but it, they should announce it soon because they're already going down the lineup. You could get, like, they have a four day, like four days of show there for the same price, basically, you know? So I would stay on the pre-sale, but if you don't get it yet and you see that the other festivals, I would go look at Sonic Temple's lineup so far. It's crazy, you know? Where's that yeah. out? Up there in, where you guys are? Sonic Temple's crazy. It's in Ohio, but their lineup already is I got cousins in Ohio. How close yeah. to Dayton? But shit, man, it'd be like me, man. I end up going to both of those things. I went to all those festivals, and I went to Sick New World. Sick New World's cool, man. It's awesome. How close That's is it to Dayton, Ohio? That best uh, lead. It's in uh, it's in Columbus, Sonic Temple. That's for like maybe thirty minutes, right? From where? Dayton, Ohio, Huber Heights. 
I do believe. Well, Dayton's, I believe, a little bit like more northwest. Col uh, Columbus, right? Like, right? Like, cool. Yeah, but it's not maybe an hour. It's not long. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. I can't yeah, wait to like, go to some festivals in Mexico and like Europe. The fucking European festivals, man. The yeah, incarceration is around the same time. Too. Like New World, like where it's like all these fucking people that I actually care about. Like here in America, I feel like we pay so fucking much these days because of the fucking ticket master and fucking Live Nation and all these motherfuckers. It's fully taken advantage of the artists and the fucking people that want to go see the artists. You know what? Another temple. <laughs> yeah, dude, Crossfade's coming back, bro. You get both nights of Metallica at the Sonic Temple. Seen Metallica so many times. Man. Yeah, that's why I said, but I would look, like I said, the lineup so far is crazy. If you scroll down in the lineup, like, so Crossfade's coming back, and I would kill to just go be like, Well, I really meant to say is I'm sorry for the way that I am. I bug out. I fucking go apocalyptic on this. <laughs> Dude, that's how I feel. Like, they're, cra they're, they're crazy. The lineup now, though, is have. Uh, what is it? Obituary, Trust Company, Seven Eyes, Devil Wears Prada, Ice Nine Kills, Arc Enemy, I Prevail, Metallica, Chevelle, Power Trip, Alice Cooper, Power Trip, uh, Trivium, uh, Hollywood Undead, Kill Switch Engage, uh, I'll Show Paris, Bullet from My Valentine. It's crazy. Their lineup's insane. They're only like a quarter of the way through it. So I think yeah, I, remember, I mean if, uh, if Matt, Matt is doing stuff, I would I would say they're going to a couple shows probably. I don't know, but I, mean, I have to that after yeah, that we'll probably play another show. So I'm gonna fucking be there. And oh, yeah. No matter how many bands are on that list, I'll tell you right now, the fact that Acid Bath is on that list is the only reason I'm willing to fucking buy a ticket. Well, because then, I've seen a lot of these other bath, And down. I'll go for down. I've but been that way before. America. Fuck, dude. A lot of these other motherfuckers awesome. out there. Sounds like a great time. Oh, yeah. we'll what go. were you going to say, though, man? I was just trying to say something. Oh, Me, no, no, I'm, I, I, a dude was trying to say something, yeah. No, no, I was just going to say, I, I remember uh, back in like 06, my old band, Grain, we went, uh, we toured the East Coast, and uh, we played up in Pittsburgh. And uh, we were set to be the opening band, and they were like, "Hey, uh, we we got this other band, and they kind of want to get out of here early, so they're going to be opening uh, the band. The name is uh, In This Moment." And I was like, "Oh, oh my god! Uh, uh, no, no, no kidding." Okay, so we watched them play to like 15, 20 people, and we also played to probably like thirty people. And then I took the entire band into my van, and we got rip roaring high, except for Maria. And then cut to like three, four years later, and she's the only one left. So I'm like, did my weed fuck up her whole band? Oh man! Oh no! That's crazy. Oh, but I'm gonna dip out of here, man. It was fun hanging with you guys. I got my girl calling. The pleasure was all ours. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for everything. Hope you guys check us out. We'll see you guys down there. Fuck Have yeah. Thank you so much man. for being a yeah. part of this, man. Yeah, man. Hit us Can't up. wait to see y'all in November. Hope you learned learn from why I love my state. All right. Sir, it was nice and meeting you be guys. Sa be safe on tour. Sir, thank you. Thank you. You see that thing? I don't give a damn about nobody yeah. else on that sick tour except after about uh, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I really like them like a lot. I really hope they come back. Oh, on the show. people! Those yeah. guys were uh -huh. fun. Those guys are fun as shit, man. Yeah, they are. Yep. Nice guys. So they were midnight them. murder show. I hope we show them a good time in Texas as we always do. Fuck yeah. Texas born. They're definitely, they're definitely hardcore. You know, keeping that. I cool like story. them. They uh, sound I, good. I love that shit. Yeah, I do too. Under the bridge, yeah. fucking. That was a good little video. And the girlfriend is cute. Kate, yeah. Kate, or whatever he said. She's cute. I love that mm. shit live. That energy live is, you know, can be the best at that time. 
It's infectious. That's why the chariot. I was so lucky to see the chariot. Can't remember how many times. Close to twenty. Like just some of the best times of my life, right there. I'm telling you, I've lived multiple lives in this music world. That's what's and up, man. Some of those videos are here on the Outlaw Video TV YouTube channel. Guys, thank you so much Let's, for giving these artists a place to talk about all this and show their music and you're showing their venues that they're playing. That's so amazing. I love that y'all do that. And that's why I support y'all. And I appreciate you guys always. Anytime I do a show, you always support. Hey, is Vane still well, here? Yeah, What's yeah you're welcome. You Say too, thank you. Say thank you to Hef and thank you to Dave Jarvis because without uh, these guys. Uh, to Hef, what are you about to? You didn't get to talk at all. Back to you, Megan. Thank you very much to you also for being here. And Ariel, we love you. Absolutely. Missed you and we you. miss Ariel. Oh, yeah. All right. So and, here's and the sick new that, world. Man. Yes. I'm excited about this. But literally, okay. it's not this the big good. names. It's not because of the large names. It's literally the smaller names that I'm excited enough, like Lebanon, Hanover. Like, they never play in the States. Like, that's fucking amazing. Acid Bath. The Melvins are going to play, you guys. Look at the smaller names. Meshuga, Mastodon. This fucking thing is, like, lit. Literally. Oh, yo, re refused, refused is flying. Fuck yeah! I thought I, I thought they called it quits. That's awesome. So fucking there. Accident, bro. Tomahawk, Tomahawk, fucking Mike Patton. Fuck yeah. Fucker. Three seven sisters of fucking mercy. You guys down. I, I, I gotta say, with all this heaviness, what the fuck is the Flaming Lips doing in the middle of all that? I, I love the Flaming Lips, don't get me wrong, but in the midst of all these heavy bands, that makes no sense at all. Got Orgy. Orgy's down there. They're not... Dope. Dope Dope is on this show, Cr yo. A cradle of filth. They're probably gonna be oozing between their pleather. <laughs> Anybody like Dope? Three Days Grace is on All there right. too. Actually, I like Three Days Grace like a lot. Literally. Exodus, you guys. Ooh. It's yeah, all Exodus, Head, Cannibal Corpse. Like this shit is all over the place. And then Queens of the Stone Age, Ministry, fucking shit, dude. But literally, the few bands that you never see anywhere, that's what's taking me to go. I'm gonna spend my money on this because of those few bands. Awesome. You know what would be great? If fucking uh, Dave Grohl came out of his little hiding spot and played drums for Queens of the Stone Age. That would That'd be, be shit. fucking crazy. Well, just so you know, Dave Grohl, we don't care that you had a bastard child. Do your thing, bro. We support <laughs> you. Just, you just keep playing that hot shit and we'll keep going to your shows. And uh, whatever's going on outside, it, it's like wrestling. Does anybody care that all of them are dying young? No, just give us a good show and we don't give a shit. All right, so here's Reno's here kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to be so positive. Uh, no, blow your brains out. I love it. And it's I just hope everybody there wants to get through this concert calendar also. So we kind of, you know, it's my place as an engineer to keep things moving forward a little bit. Uh, and you're engineastic. <laughs> it's just so hard to keep a bunch of ADHD motherfuckers on track. I mean, I feel like it should be. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. What happens is we, I run out of time sometimes, no matter what happens. Look at Greg's beef And, here. I'm, can, and I'm not ADHD. I'm just drunk. <laughs> For me, Craig, go. Oh, uh, Craig, Craig Reeves, man, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you, Midnight Murder Show. Y'all murdered the show, if you will. Oh, Tanya lost her and dog. What the fuck, Tanya? Why did you lose your dog? She was watching the show, apparently. Oh. 
he, All right. she, well, she, get it, he. Get it, get it back, and we will tell it sweet nothings in its ear. Dirty, dirty sweet Thank nothings. Thank you for being here, Ozzy. All right, so Reno's here. We are kill right. everything. They're an Arlington band or a band that uh, I know used to rehearse at Avalon. So, what word? And when? And metal, cardia, disdain, twisted manifold. October wow, 19th, you can so see bad. those logos so well. That's fucking crazy. You can read those. Well, it's <laughs> nice that they printed the actual names underneath those squiggly blood uh, webs that they created. Bro, I just noticed that. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's pretty creative. Thank no, you, Reynos. That's sport. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Reynos. Yeah, if, if more flyers could do that, we'd really appreciate it, because as fun as it is trying to guess, guess what your fucking band name is, uh, it'd probably be beneficial for us and y'all if uh, we knew who the fuck you were. <laughs> True story, though. Okay. okay. So this is so this week this in Saturday. at Opinions. Uh, dude, blasph blasphemous Goat Vomit. I've been trying to get them on this show for months now. So if anybody out there knows anybody from Blasphemous Goat Vomit, please let me know. We would love to have you on the show. In that special way. And that's uh, Binions along with Tin Pool, uh, Cloud Vase, oh, Benson, What's that uh, blue thing? Michelle Johnson. Oh, Michelle yeah. Johnson. Shout out to very Indian. good. Arlington Texas. and insufferable. You Tim know what this cool. place All is? All right, that's Saturday. You know what this place oh, is? They're a little ice house, man. They used to I, be. I've a been there. Yard. It's it's nice. It's a nice venue. They, they used to be a lumber yard there forever. It is. I guess someone in the family inherited it and things in Arlington chains and creating a scene here. So I love it. Go. Oh, yeah. And then also at Binion's uh, Sunday, uh, October 27th, we got Dreadland, our good friends is Dreadland, uh, mm -hmm. Sons of Gulliver, In Ruins, Brimborn, and Oceans Above. This is a, uh, what, the Tom Foolery mini tour. Uh, uh, through Torch Silly Goose, who is a, who is associated with Torch Entertainment. All right, I'll know about All the right. show on the one, but I know uh, we got Dank here, and I want to make sure we support that and show Dank some love. Question for some Absolutely. All right, so once again, this is another uh, pretty sure to Torch Entertainment. Yeah, Torch Entertainment show with Screw Pilot, who are still not allowed on Facebook. It's fucking bullshit. Uh, sea Creature, Three Quarter Ton, Verminosis, O Benson, and of course, Dank. Yeah, the Dia de los Metal. That's right, November Foist. That's the day before Dia de los Muertas. Okay, ignore the right. testing razor show that happened last weekend. We got Vane, everybody. It is very hard to do that. Right. That was a good show. Look at that. Hang around tonight. I will play a Vane song or two. Mm -hmm. So it was an Indigo, uh, Forsaken Silence, The Innocence, and what is that? Uh, T t titaned Mitch. Uh, wow. Titanio Machi or something like that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, check out all those bands plus Ralph Machio. Thank you very much, Hef. <laughs> have a shot. All right. Well, have a good time this weekend. Hef should be. Uh, Kick our basis, our new basis, making this premiere. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that yeah. makes it a big show. Yeah, so yeah, his warm up, if you will. <laughs> then we got plenty okay, of What's his name again? He's a cool uh, dude. Josh. 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 Yeah, he's, been, he's been on here once or twice with me. Yeah, Josh, everybody, you won't regret it. Get out and see. Not only is he a cool dude, he's a great bass player, and it's going right. to be great for Hef and Vane. Absolutely. Bring in, bring in some cool elements. 
Got some new stuff in the works, too. Can't wait to show them off more. Best of luck to you, Josh. Here. And here we got a trees show. Love trees. With yours truly, Ariel of Blow Your Brains Out and Against All Lines. I love girls, 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 girls I do adore. Well, a new song for coming up. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, I was that, but no, that's that was actually a uh, a Jay Z song. So I do uh -huh. apologize. Uh, yes, Unsilent Night. Night. Against all odds, from then on, uh, ATF. I forget what ATF stands for. Sorry, uh, Moon Fallen and uh, Squiggly Shit. Tachycardia, among, the, among the Fallen. Among the following. Okay, very, very good. All right, Squiggly. fifteen same, bucks. Same, same. Little Squiggly man, shit. put that shit in my hand. Squiggly shit. We've got another right. against the lodge show. Shout out, Ariel. That's right. Over at over with our brothers at Dead Dog Barn, November twenty third. Doors at six hey. twenty one and up. Uh, no exceptions. We sharing uh, the B -Y -O -B. love. We Five bucks the at love. the door. Blow 7 your brains out got, and dead dog barn. Love you guys. That's right. We got Behind Wolvera against all odds, violent death, and hot cake hand grenade. We got something for everyone, including gallons of booze. So if you're into, at the very least, hanging out in the middle of a field with horses and cows and gallons yeah. of booze, come hang out with us. I'm down. That's it. I'm sold. Yeah, that's it. Gallons of booze in the middle of a field with heavy metal bands. <laughs> that was a good time. It's hard to beat that, man. I love this dead dog barn idea. Thank you, Dave Jarvis, for lining this up. Thank you, Rick, for making this show possible. Fucking A. All right, let's keep going here. November 10th at Tulips. I don't know what that show is, but there it is. Where the fuck is Tulips? I, in Fort Worth. I got a I got a throw rug that looks just like I believe that. it's off of Maine. <laughs> right in there. It's like a dually. It's like a grandma's dually. Tulips. No. <laughs> yeah, we've promoted some other tulip shows. Okay. They they have some decent shows there. I've never uh, been. Uh, new. Nobody cares about Leon Bridges. Fucking cool though. Uh, I, I I absolutely care about Leon Bridges, and I think he's fucking oh, amazing. But yeah. uh, do you think? Well, I, I understand. We cater I, we cater I, to I, a certain demographic, and that's unfortunate because I, I believe it's either. I, all I, local music, of course. even if it's local I, music that is big enough to play an arena. You guys better be get out and see us some Leon Bridges here. Dave pissing Dave Jarvis off here on Blow Your Brains Out. It's Friday, November. Dude, Leon's 15th shit, man. Dickies Arena. Dude, they have a lot of parking. Dude, if you get a chance and it's a beautiful day, go driving and listen to some Leon Bridges. I guarantee you'll be in a good place when you stop driving. Surely. Tell him, Dave. Tell him. Yeah. And if that don't get you there... Turn your music up even louder and listen to some King Diamond. That'll get you in a good place. <laughs> Grandma, what was it like? <laughs> Tell me about all my day song. Here we go. Ah. Happy <laughs> girl. All right. See, clear, go, clearly, you can't do the falsetto too well if you smoke as much as I do. Uh, smoked a little tonight. I mean. <laughs> All right. So, welcome to St. Lucifer's Hospital, everybody. It's King Diamond at the Factory in Deep Bell on Friday. So much I love that venue. And it's you know, I was here with Mongo for like, I think it was fucking. Um, it is nice over there. It was so great. They they let they had like a wheelchair spot right on the left of the stage, and yeah. I think they have one on the other side too. But it was great, man. 
me and Mongo were just chilling. We were watching, like, it was all like around the lake tonight. We were jamming, you know? It, it was a good movie. The sound of good jamming. There you go. The factory. That there. That was a wild There you movie. go. The factory and Deep Ellum. Factory. All right. So coming up, this is a big show at Diamond Gems. A couple that, of weeks. Okay. Did the Life of Scar show already? No, that one didn't this, happen. This, this one's still coming up. This coming is a cool show. No, right. you guys need to go fucking see Past the Ammunition and yeah. Life of Scars. Yeah. Like, keep, keep, name going. keep going. Man, but it's Man. Tonic. Yeah, Man, Tonic is kick ass. You got to listen to him. Dane. Dread Dane. Dread something. Dread. Davalia or something like that. <laughs> Y'all make it so hard. <laughs> well, those four bands, Past the Ammunition, Life of Scars, Dreadland, and Metonic are going to be cute. Dreadland. Okay. Fuck. It's an L. I yes, could right. not. I mean, but fuck I mean, yes. I would go to that. Here's the, weird thing. here's the weird thing about Dreadland. As far as I can tell, none of them have dreads. So, what the fuck? <laughs> It could be like a land of dread, right? It could be like. Uh, I think Hank should jo join the band. <laughs> Hank it should join the band. <laughs> the dread man. You, you tell Hank this to me. I've always wanted someone to do like an ultra, like, hillbilly country version of South of Heaven. Please. Please tell him that, because I feel like that would be so fucking fun. Um, if he did like Slayer, I will. Style. Uh, uh, I'll be honest. He actually hates Slayer. But if he did, and, uh, no, I've been looking for someone to do that for years. I think it would be great. <laughs> Sounds like fun. It. Maybe it could be Hank 3 that mm -hmm. does it. I don't know. But. All go. right. Well, everybody loves a costume party. October Ghost and Autumn Dreams with yours truly and mine also, the lovable Ken Martin and Rogue Radio at Diamond Gym Saloon. Saturday, November the 2nd. Does it? Does uh does Ken still wear bedazzled jeans? Because if he does, y'all should make fun of him for that. You know, every day is a costume party with Ken Martin. You gotta be, you know, on your toes with balls ready. <laughs> and that's part of the fun. Balls. That's, that's balls. most of the fun. It's all balls all day. I've hey, got every, big balls and you've party. got big balls. <laughs> every rogue radio party I've been to has been good. <laughs> That's just been balls to the walls, huh? <laughs> yeah, man, they do it, dude. He's hell bent on entertaining. Yeah, I don't know anymore because I hadn't seen Rogue Radio in a couple of years and they're a little older. But Bill is a fucking accurate guitar player. He plays everything right. And so fucking he holds it down. And uh, Ken plays bass and sings. And he's an entertainer. Like he's a natural born fucking entertainer. He should have been famous 20 or 30 years ago. I don't know what happened. But at what cost, Rick? At what cost? I don't know, man, but I enjoy him, man, and I love him. So shout out, everybody! Get your costume on. Speaking of costume, dress up, play dress up with Kill House, Swarm, Dreadland again. See, if I was to go to a costume party that Kill House was a part of, I would just wear a giant white sheet that was covered in mud and say that I was the remnants of the Kill House tacos. Oh, yeah, that's it. I would go as Kill House nachos also. That's what I'd love to be for Halloween this year, Kill House nachos. Nope. So that everybody could eat you? 
Oh, nice setup and delivery. Go. Go. I'll hey, let your pretty. boy. That's pretty. He does like a nice Ooh. setup and delivery here. How about some harvest yeah. of sorrow yeah. here in just a Looks few minutes? like that. You know, we're that playing the robot appears to be ready to take down some corn. He might be ready to harvest. Just saying. <laughs> you know, we're doing a show November 1st. That's a Halloween costume party, blah, blah, blah. I might be a judge, too. Just saying. Uh, do I have a flyer for that? Uh, oh, Judy. We just started. I mean, we just started promoting for it. But uh, OK, well, come back and see us. I will, 100%. But yeah. everybody else, stay Being tuned because we will play Harvester of Sorrow, a oh, nice track, Metallica, yeah. by the one and only Vein, and of course, Thank yours you. truly, Hef. Boom, metal. Yes. Just saying. It's dope. And remember to check us out next week when we got Aska. Yeah, that's going to be a cool show. Right, guys. Did you guys know that Dark Alliance is doing new stuff? You remember Dark Alliance from back in the day? Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. that. Yep. It includes Jeff from Iron Wall. Yeah, they're working on some stuff, you guys, and they're remastering a lot of things. Okay. Cool. All right. So, uh, friends on here. On uh, November 16th, we have Phantasmagoria of Horror, Putrid Pile, Cerebral Desecration, Demon Seed, Astyanyax, uh, Gutricide, Unsentient, and Violent Death over at Haltum Theater. Be sure to get your shit pre-sale 20, day of show 25. That is with our boy Alex at Scriptorium. Uh, also, be sure to check out Slasher Party Massacre with Silver Tongue Devil, Dreadland, Tyrannical Deception, Electric Vengeance, and Insufferable. Also, a Alex from Scriptorium show. It'll be Friday, October 25th, also at the Haltum. Please uh, get your shit early because uh, you'll pay less. <laughs> All right, just saw Eddie in the uh, or Ozzy, Ozzy here. I was waiting backstage. Eddie, Eddie, I, never, I want to talk to you. you. Never saw you on the screen, so now I'm saying, try again. Take <laughs> that my spot. Suck my dick, huh? All right, so that's pretty much it. Speaking of like reunions and anniversaries, Puncture is celebrating their. Um, Puncture celebrating their 30th anniversary to December. Industrial Thrasher's Puncture. Everybody order that now. Go to puncturebandcamp.com. And I'm sure that Rick Perry will be on here soon because not only is there a word that there will be a Puncture reunion show yes. this, this release. But there is also rumors that there may be a gamma side. Oh, yes. Wow, gamma side. Holler. I thought they were already working on this. They did the Binion show for Leslie. Fort Worth Rockers for Leslie. Gamma side didn't. Uh, Varnum did. And he Varnum was, was there. there. But uh, also other members. That, that's of good work. Well, they may, have, was they there. may have got on stage and done a song or something. I don't know. The but skulls, it was the like smoke. Give it it's a, such a good I would it now. Uh, yeah, I don't know it if it's art, but I like it. it. Yeah, damn right. Yeah. But so there you go. Look forward to more of that coming up. We expect to have Rick Perry on the show soon to talk to us about both Gamma Side, Puncture, and of course, Iron Jaw. All Fuck right. Yeah. And, and, uh, all right. Let's hear some tunes, people. Yes. yes, we have done it once again. Classic drug man. Mm, titties oh. and hot sauce. <laughs> Pain. Pain. 